What's going on, Show Nation? It's Movie with Movie Gaming TV, and in today's video, we're going to cover some of the new news for MLB The Show 21. We're going to talk about the ball player crossover from Road of the Show to Diamond Dynasty. We're going to talk about Stadium Creator being leaked, will be a Stadium Creator in MLB The Show 21. We're going to talk about the new pitching interface. There's a new pitching interface that we're going to take a look at, and we're going to talk about how you can help test for the cross-platform and cross-gen. Um, there's signups for that, so we're going to get into all of that. So let's jump over to the web browser and take a look at some of this stuff and watch some videos and just kind of talk about the latest news and what to expect when news is going to drop and all that kind of stuff. So let's head over there. Okay, so the first thing we're going to look at is Coach and Tati Jr. tell you about how your ball player can leave Road to the Show for the first time in MLB The Show. Uh, so this is something uh, I think people have been wanting for a little while. Being able to take your Road to the Show player over to Diamond Dynasty and we're going to get it this year i don't think we're gonna have like a my park or a sandlot mode or anything like that i think that's probably just down the horizon but maybe this could be like the first step in getting towards one of those modes let's go ahead and check out the video let's go! stunt on your rivals has been really a big theme this year it's on your rivals with style and MLB The Show 21, your ball player can do it all. Uno. I, I really like how they got the Tatis Jr. like plush too. It's pretty sweet. Do. Wow. For the first time. All right, take your ball player out of road of the show and into other modes. What do they have? His last name is like Lego. Uh, you can use your ball player in more than just road to the show. That means in road to the show and Diamond Dynasty, you're gaining experience and growing your player in more modes and with more flexibility than ever before. So what's interesting about this is I'm not sure exactly, but you might be able to play your player uh, in different positions uh it's like you build them and he can play any position i'm not sure we're gonna get more into that as we watch that's this that's simple that's simple coach he can really do it all ladies and gentlemen all day all day well now you're just showing off kid no longer are you stuck in just so they named the guy let's go <laughs> that's what it let's go <laughs> i like that over here you can see that all right let's keep going one roll become a true Make your ball player a two-way player. Two-way player. Earn and use play. Customize your ball player with the best loadout for the situation. It's good to like pause these videos too because they go, they're like one minute and they just rapid fire the information at you. So looks like we have rarity, position, affinity, uh, a diamond tier power, uh, gold contact. Looks like the gold contact gives like plus twenty to like the vision and the contact. Uh, power compatible positions, starting pitcher and right pitcher, uh, uh, relief pitcher, excuse me, right pitcher, uh, compatible positions, starting pitcher and relief pitcher. Um, so they got some more power for that. And that's interesting too, considering are these like stats for like a pitcher for his hitting stats? Let's keep the watching. Loadouts that will help you customize your ball player to play Let's any see. position or take on any situation. A master of all trades, if you will. All right, so let's listen to what Coach said there again. Trades, if you will. Situation. Customize your ball player to play any position or take on any situation. A master of all trades, if you will. Any position, any situation, is that what A master of all player to play any position or take on any situation. A master of all trades, if you will. Ready? You know, I uh, trust you, Tatis. I'm closing my eyes. No, why would you close your eyes? Da -da -da -da. <laughs> so that's going to be interesting if we have like just one core player, basically, and they can we can customize them to play at any position. And uh, that's how we're gonna build them out. So and I was kind of curious how it would work too. Like, would you have to go and road to the show and make like a, a shortstop or a second baseman or a catcher or a third baseman or a pitcher? Because the meta for what is the best creative player in Diamond Dynasty, it kind of changes throughout the years as we get more cards uh, that get rolled out. So for at one point of the year, you know, it might be best to have him at shortstop, then it might be best to have him at catcher, then it might be best to have him at second base, then it might be best to have him late in the year at pitcher. So 
it's going to be interesting to see if like we just build up one player throughout the year and then they're going to have the ability to do a lot of different things to help out your diamond dynasty team caps caps in general they've been kind of uh they're kind of controversial some people like them some people don't like them i do like them because it's just like one less card i have to get i love like having like a custom card but there's a lot of people that don't like them because they don't think it's like realistic and stuff like that i understand it too but um it's gonna be uh, i think it's gonna be pretty sweet to build up a player uh this year and bring them over to uh diamond dynasty i like i like the direction that that's heading uh also i guess we should talk shit on this fast want to know how to own your friends in MLB The Show 21, share your questions about the new gameplay updates for a chance to have Coach and Ramon answer them during an upcoming uh, feature premiere. So hop on over to Twitter, leave some questions. They're going to be uh, discussing that on stream. Um, let's see. Help. Let's just cut to this right now. Help us test the cross platform and cross gen play. MLB The Show 21 tech test registration starts now. Signups close on February 15th at 10 a.m. So that's about four days from now. I'm recording this on um, I'm recording this on uh, what? Uh, February 11th. So let's take a look at the tech test video here. Um, here's some questions too. Uh, one more. We'll go after the questions in a second. Let's take a look at the video from Ron here. Cross platform and cross generational play. You heard me right. Both cross-platform and cross-generational play is coming to MLB The Show. Which is sweet. Ramon here from the San Diego studio. We are working on a huge new feature for MLB The Show 21 that will allow all of By the way, Ramon's shirt. I like that shirt, man. That is a cool shirt. All right, let's get going. Our fans to play against each other online, but we need your help. We are happy to announce that signups for MLB The Show 21's technical tests are now open. We've been working hard Sweet. on getting this feature ready, but we need your help to push the servers to the limits. For fans who want to step up to the plate, the technical test will start on February 23rd and end on March 1st. This is a technical test and not a representation of the final. So this is good because it lets them push the server to the limits. It lets us try to find some bugs, give some feedback. Um, I really like that they're doing this. Uh, this is really smart. I mean, this is just, I feel like they've been getting smarter and smarter with stuff that they need to test. And this is a great, a great thing. I'd recommend if you got some time to sign up for this and help them push the server to the limit, help provide feedback, all that kind of stuff. It really, really helps them out. Final game. By participating, you will be helping provide us with valuable feedback so that we can give you the best possible experience when MLB The Show 21 launches in April. And this is the kind of stuff I know as gamers, we're super critical about like every aspect. We're always going to find that thing that like could be improved and could be better. And this is just an opportunity for us to like help them make the get best game possible. And it shows me that they want to have the best baseball game possible. So I think these are opportunities that we got to take as a community to like get involved with and, and help them out. So number one, go to the show.com slash tech test to sign up Two, for PlayStation fans. Look for a system message that will allow you to download. Xbox owners. Welcome head to the Xbox insider hub to gain access and to download. So that just shows you what's going to, it's pretty much going to be like when we sign Three, up. Three, this is a private technical test. So that means no streaming, no screenshots, nothing posted on social media. Yeah. And when you do the technical tests, there's not, uh, I, what they probably will do is they'll do it on the show.com, um, which I think they've moved the show nation to like the show.com. They're kind of like it still redirects like the show nation to redirects to like the show.com which is probably a better name for the website anyways but yeah you can't stream it they'll probably have a forum over on the show.com where you can provide your feedback and stuff like that but until the game gets officially released you can't just be like streaming it or making videos on that it's like it's going to be within the stuff that we sign up for it's just like they want to keep it they want to keep it closed until like the game's ready to go and it's ready to release. It's probably just some technical legal stuff on their end. Media, just don't do it. Four, we do want your feedback. Go to the. T and also, I would not recommend doing that. Like, you're like, oh, maybe I'll get away with it. No, don't, don't do that. Do not do that. Um, 
Don't do that. Don't stream it. Do not Technical stream Technical test it. forms on the show.com to provide your... Yep. Yep. There you go. And there he's talking about, you know, it's going to be... Well, ha- they'll have like a, a certain forum where you can share about it and talk about it over there, uh, which again, you know, it's going to be very useful to make the game Feedback better. and post any issues. Now go sign up on the show.com slash tech test before February 15th. Thanks. And we'll see you online. I like the music, sweet. All right, so let's take a look at some of this stuff. When will I be able to play in a tech test? Starts 2.30 or 2.23.21 and it will close on the 1st of March. Will I be able to download the tech test before the server is open? Yes, the tech test will be available for download before the servers go live. How will I know that I've been selected to participate? PlayStation users will receive a notification on your console when it's available for download. Xbox users will gain access and download to the Xbox Insider Hub. How can I talk about the tech test and submit feedback? A private forum will be available for those who were selected to participate. The private forum will be open shortly before the test servers go live on 2.22. Can I stream, share video, or share pictures of the tech test? No, doing so might, may result in your account being suspended from the test and possibly future tests or release versions of the game. Don't do it. I'm telling you, don't do it. Don't run the risk. They will ban people that do that, and uh, just don't do it. It's a bad idea. Just do it off. Go to the, the proper avenue of... Uh, providing feedback, you'll be all right that way. Just do that. We'll the, we'll have the game soon enough. Uh, which modes will be available to play? Diamond Dynasty versus CPU, Diamond Dynasty events, Diamond Dynasty casual, Diamond Dynasty play with friends, and Battle Royale. Good modes for us to be able to try out there. Uh, will any of my stats items progress right, made in the tech test transfer over to my account at launch? No, everything in the tech test will be wiped prior to launch. And nothing will carry over. Are the player uh, attributes that we see in the tech test final? Uh, they are not so this is a pretty if you want to like this is basically like the beta for MLB the show 21 and if you're just like dying to get your hands on the new game they'll probably take my would be my guess is at least what they've done in the past is they'll probably like bring in some of the cards from this year's game from MLB the show 20 and we'll get to go over there and uh, use some of the cards to provide feedback and uh, I don't know all you gotta do is hit I agree and then sign up so I'm gonna sign up like after I get done making the video so I can be a part of it. But I highly recommend that you just sign up and give it a shot and provide some feedback and all that kind of stuff. So let's take a look at our next thing here. We're gonna talk about the gameplay styles video that just released. So let's take a look at the gameplay styles video. Let's go! I like the music, man. <laughs> Stunt on your rivals with style. Fernando Tatis Jr. and Coach. And play your way. Show 21. You can customize your gameplay style. So we got the customize your gameplay experience. Fit your desired level of- also, this says, what did that say at the top? PS4 version work in progress captured on PS5. So we're on the PS5 for this footage, and uh, it's the PS4 version that we're being able to play. Or that they're recording. Like- all right, so we got select your gameplay style. We got casual and easier, fun, pickable play experience with an emphasis on learning the game. Simulation, authentic game will be experience that plays true to player and team ratings. And then we have competitive user and stick skills. Reign Supreme are online head-to-head default. So uh, I probably will be picking competitive, to be honest, but they're trying to really cater to all the audience uh, audiences that play them will be the show we got the pick up and play you know the people that just want to get a game in and uh don't want it to be too crazy we got the simulation i would think more for like the people that like to do like a 10-year franchise and they want it to be as real as possible and then we have the competitive where it might be a little bit more unrealistic i wouldn't say i wouldn't i would say this is more like arcade this is more like straight simulation than competitive it's kind of a combination of both of them um you know if you're putting perfect inputs on the controller and you're just absolutely beasting you're going to get those kind of results at least in theory that's what i think they're trying to do competitive mode where you can put your skills to the test or if you're in the mood for here we got simulation all right, so this is a new thing too. This looks like a different feedback at the wall than we've ever seen. Um, I've actually gotten pretty good at robbing home runs. It looks like we got a couple green arrows and a yellow arrow, and we got the player charging. Uh, that this was one thing, especially at the start of last year's game, where there's a lot of like, uh, you know, there's a lot of issues when you went up to the wall. Uh, kind of the player would bounce off, or they couldn't get certain animations, and uh, it was one thing that they tried to fix last year. 
And for some, for they kind of did, but like the hit detection at the wall just wasn't as good. And it was one of those things too, where like sometimes I feel like they can't fix it in that year of the game, but it goes like straight to the top of the list for the next year's game. So they have like the time that they need to to work on it, and revamp it. So it looks like it's revamped game for this. We would have made that catch yeah. there. Show them Fernando Tatis Jr. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Go, let's go. Go, go, go. Tati Jr. is the man. Yes. Show them. Oh, man, that bat flip, bro. That bat flip is just amazing. Let's go. That's how Tati Jr. does it, baby. Let's go. Oh, you can play like me in casual mode. Because sometimes you just want to score runs. And hit dingus. <laughs> no matter what. All right, so look at this. We got this new pitching interface. Um, a lot of people are talking about that. A lot of people are comparing it to the 2K baseball games. Um, just in how it worked. Uh, looks like you pull down the controller and maybe go over to you know up and around for like whatever pitch this is. I don't know if this is a curveball or what have you. Um, I think like fastball might be more straight up and down and then this meter watch this meter come across there I'm not exactly sure what you're gonna do on the control for that one. So let's take a look at this uh, in action no here. What you're looking for, there's a game. See how it kind of like goes like that and then it goes back in so I'm not exactly sure what we're gonna be doing with this I don't know if this is gonna take overtake analog pitching if this is going to be the new analog pitching um, I hope they still have the old analog pitching in the game because I actually like that a lot but maybe it so I don't know if this is like a new thing or if they rebuild uh, analog pitching from the ground up. Um, I know they want to have more like like a perfect perfect pitching because a lot of people have been requesting that we have like perfect perfect in hitting. A lot of people last year, you know, they they really wanted like perfect perfect pitching. Like if I hit my inputs perfectly, can the ball please go to the spot that I had? Um, I think that's more of kind of like how it used to be in 16 and some 17 MLB 16 MLB 17 where um, ratings weren't as impactful on you know just the stick skill of the input. So maybe this will be closer to that. I'm not even sure what this is called yet, but this is definitely something new that we've never seen uh, in MLB the show before, no at least in the last like five or six years. For, there's a game place. So I'm kind of interested to try it out. I, you know, I want to see if it's going to be better and we're going to see you will be able to see and talk about it quickly when the game comes out, you know, we, we'll be able to see what some of the top players are using. If it's something that they're going to use, if analog still available, would they stick with analog, uh, that kind of thing. So, uh, let me know what you think about this. Cause it's, uh, it's definitely new. No matter what you're looking for, there's a game place to help for you and MLB. And look like, uh, so look, look looks on this one like the the arrows are all red and that almost is like it hits off the top of the wall here in oakland and it's like okay you can't catch this one it's all red so that's one thing i noticed with the different arrows for you and mlb the show 21 <sighs> tropical baby okay thank you thank you uh so let's take a look at this blog as well um, read about the MLB The Show 21 feature premieres and more on the PlayStation blog. Let's take a look at this blog. Um, so let's see here. We got uh, Ramon wrote this too. Uh, you probably spent uh, many breathless nights awake wondering. I wonder what Coach is doing now. Well, we got news for you. Not only is Coach back, but he's got a new best friend, Fernando Tatis Jr. Every Tuesday and Thursday for the remaining of February, we'll, we will be releasing a new coach in Fernando Tatis Jr. video that showcases. A different area of the game these videos will give you some important nuggets of information about various improvements for MLB the show 21 these will lead up to the more in-depth and future looking next-gen reveals so for those in the community who are looking for a deeper dive on improvements and new features coming to MLB the show this year have no fear we have plenty on the we have plenty of content on the horizon for you um, so play your way I think this is the video we just watched like the it is it is um, Let's see, tailored and focused gameplay. We talked about that, gameplay styles. That allow you to tailor gameplay experience for any given moment. Are you looking for casual? Or you can put up some runs? Are you looking for more traditional that plays intense and short of life? Maybe you want a true test of your skills and sticks where your abilities with the controllers are on the controller are paramount. 
Taylor gameplay is just the tip of the iceberg. The team has invested significant development time working on on other areas of gameplay. Our biggest focus being fly ball catches, at the wall catches, jumping, reaching, rob home runs, crashing to the wall, and catches that come off the Z axis, which means if you are taking a route that's not exactly perfect, we have a lot of new catches you'll see play off the access you're running. It feels great and we cannot wait for everyone to try it out. For pitching, we've introduced a brand new mechanic, but more about that and other gameplay improvements in March. So we'll learn more about the pitching and that new thing in March. Um, and it also says, you know, the next gen reveal. So like we said kind of earlier, it's like a lot of this footage that we're seeing in February is the PS4 version. We haven't really even seen the PS5 version. And again, we talked about signing up for the stuff to do the tech tests and everything like that you're going to be able to probably get a feel for some of this stuff doing the tech test uh starting 20 or uh, starting february 23rd and ending about a week later a limited number of users can participate in mlb show 21 technical test what is the technical test we need your help to stress test the servers online matchmaking cross-platform as well as gather feedback on gameplay so i mean this is basically the beta. <laughs> you can sign up here on February 10th. The technical tests will be closed. So we ask that you read rules before signing up and we'll see you on the server soon. And will be the show 21 feature premieres. This year we'll be rolling out feature premieres, which will be broadcasting simultaneously across Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook Live. Much like our live streams in previous years, feature premieres will give an in-depth look at the new features and changes that we've been working on that makes this year's game better than its predecessor. Clear your afternoon schedules on Thursday afternoons as the new feature premieres will air every Thursday at 3 p.m. starting on March 11th. Uh, our feature premiere schedule looks like this. We have tailored gameplay, pinpoint pitching, and hitting engine updates. So I think this will all be in March to complete fielding overall. Yes, we are specifically talking about plays at the wall. Uh, that's uh, that's good. Uh, ball player introduction, more pro more variety, and more ways to play than ever before. Franchise in October, uh, March or October, empowers you to make decisions for the future. It will be the show that goes next gen. Diamond Dynasty streamlined with new paths to rewards like that we cannot be more excited for the with the show 21 coming out on playstation and xbox consoles look forward to a new class of legends new ways to play including with your friends check the show.com see how it's on the show nation anymore it's like the show.com uh follow our twitter facebook and instagram accounts for the latest updates about mlb the show 21 uh etc etc uh, for more detailed information on mlb the show 21 including an important update on year to year saves Please read. I think we looked at our freak, the frequently asked questions in my uh, last video I dropped about. It will be the show 21. Okay, so we've covered uh, ball player crossover, we've covered uh, the new pitching interface, we've cro covered the testing for cross platform and cross gen. Now we're going to head over to my page because uh, this got leaked uh, yesterday. It was, got sent to like, uh, it started making the rounds. They haven't had an official announcement on it yet. So the last thing we're gonna take a look at is I got sent this by Seth B88 and it says Creative Stadium confirmed. He he sent it to he sent it to a lot of us here. Uh, he sent it to like uh, Sam, Kyle, Gunsky, Kuz, Serenity, Shelfie, me, and, and Healy, and uh, a couple of you know he he sent it to a lot of us. And this was uh, in the description of one of those videos that we just saw on their YouTube page. And it says, uh, there are more ways to play than ever before in MLB Show 21. Take your ball player across game modes, every at bat, every pitch, every play. Fire up the new stadium creator mode and build the next great ballpark for the first time ever MLB The Show is playable on Xbox and has the crossover. But the stadium creator mode it was in the description of this video and then apparently it was taken out so sometimes stuff like that happens where they didn't have the description that they wanted in there uh so then uh, you know a lot of people are i i think we're getting uh the creative mode for um stadiums i think that's something now that it's kind of leaked and out there and everyone's been talking about it i could see them putting out may maybe pushing that video to uh, us a little bit quicker uh because it just it's already out there and everyone's talking about it everyone seems somewhat excited about it uh the real question is it going to be in diamond dynasty like online that you can use it or is it going to be in franchise and kind of offline um i personally think and you know like what kind of restrictions are we going to have because like 
my i've always wanted to build like a really f like i i want to build like really funky funny stadiums i don't know why but i'd like to always have like really short down the lines like two green monsters and like a 370 to center field like making maybe making like an awesome grinding stadium or like just making like a funny stadium or a new like polo grounds like it's gonna be interesting to see how that all works they could almost do it in two ways too where they have like one that you can make for like uh, you know playing online and then one that you can just go nuts with for like offline play uh so that the stadiums aren't too crazy i really think that they need a vault too so if somebody makes like an awesome stadium like you can download it uh from the vaults just like we do with like jerseys and stuff like that 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 to me just seems like something that really really should be there if not for this one for the next one uh but i really really feel like that should be there uh, for us to be able to do that so because I know there's gonna be some people that just have amazing designs and like I'm gonna want to download some of those But it should be interesting to see and we're gonna have to see if it's gonna be in Dominos or not I think from a technical perspective I think they could do it because like all the assets It's not like we're bringing in a outside assets into the game It would just kind of like figure out what however we customized it and then bring it into the game but how do you feel about stadium creator being an mlb the show 21 uh looks like it's going to be here no official announcement yet but i feel like um i feel like it's going to be here i feel like a lot of people think it's going to be here but thank you so much for watching this video today just kind of giving you the updated news like we're gonna get more stuff on tuesdays and thursdays uh the weekend it was kind of more like some advertisements for them like hey buy the show and that kind of stuff We'll see if anything else drops and when it does i'm gonna be putting together videos like this so if you enjoyed this video and made it to the end make sure to hit that thumbs up button hit that subscribe button i'd appreciate it we'll see you in the next video and thank you so much for watching peace out